Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can record an audio voiceover narration inside of DaVinci Resolve. So in order to do this, we should be over on the Fairlight tab in Resolve 14. Uh, you won't see this viewer by default, but we're definitely going to need that. So by default, in order to get the viewer, you should have meters open, and while the viewer is not popped out, it's going to be in this top right hand corner here. Uh, actually, you could technically not have it popped out if you want, but you're going to want to see it if you're going to be recording a voiceover for your video. So anyway, we pop this out, and while we have the video track available to us, next we need to assign the microphone to an audio track that we're going to record on. So I would recommend that you put this on a new audio track with no actual audio information on it, so you don't accidentally overwrite it. Um, open up the mixer in the top right hand corner if you haven't done so already. And what you're going to need to do is stretch this mixer window over to the left. So click on that black line and drag it to the left. And we're going to need to assign an audio input on audio track 2. So here we click where it says no input, click on input, and we're going to have audio inputs that we can assign to track input. So make sure in the source your audio inputs is set there. What we're going to want to do is take the microphone track and assign it to audio 2 over there, and then another microphone track and assign that to audio 2R. Depending on how your exact microphone works, you may see one or two audio input. So here I'm going to use microphone track 1, and I'm going to make sure that audio 2 left is selected. I'm going to hit patch in the bottom right, and what patch means is you're assigning a microphone to a destination. So Microphone 1, it's assigned to the left, and then microphone 2, uh, basically it's the same microphone but two different channels, gets assigned to audio 2R. So now we have a left microphone input and a right microphone input, so we should be able to record with that. And if all goes well, you should see input settings for your new audio track, and then the microphone should be assigned there. Also, you might notice below, if you have any VST plugins that you want to use, such as a noise reduction, you can click on effects and add that in there. I'm not going to cover that in too much detail, but uh, you do have a lot of tools here. You can also play around with the equalization and some other goodies. Next, in the timeline, we need to find the spot where we want to actually record our voiceover narration. Uh, especially if you're not recording with a headset, I would recommend that all the other audio tracks, you mute those. Uh, so that any sounds are not going to play back on your speakers as an alternative. You can simply mute your Windows or Mac audio. It's just going to be important that you don't accidentally pick up on other audio sources while you're recording. So lastly, you need to mark your audio track for recording. So the one you want to record on, make sure that R is checked here. You can do that just with a simple left click. And when everything's set up and you're ready, uh, and I would recommend doing a test run first, but you can click on this record button and it's going to start going through the track. If you have in out points set, it'll start and end at those in out points. But aside from that, you hit record and it's going to keep going until you hit the record button again or you hit the stop button. So let's go ahead and just do a quick random recording. This is a scene in nature where we have grass showing on the screen and mountains in the background. So when you hit stop, if everything goes well, you should see this green section on your audio track. And you should be able to play it back, hear it, and see if everything recorded properly. So I'll go ahead and play this here. Okay, so it came out a bit loud, so I might want to go into my Windows audio settings and lower the microphone down a bit. Um, but overall, it recorded fine. So that's pretty much how you do a quick audio voiceover narration inside of DaVinci Resolve. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.